Welcome back, beer tubers. Ryan here with another episode of San Diego Beer Vlog. Thanks for joining me. Being a bit lazy today, didn't feel like setting up my camera, so we're just going to do it on the webcam. And we're going to take a look at Terrapins Muhu. This is their chocolate milk stout. Thanks to Jonathan for sending this one out to me. Uh, just wanted a, a nice uh, kind of after dinner beer, and I hopefully this one get, does the trick. Let's get it open and see how it is. So I believe this is their winter seasonal. So I mean, it's probably a little past its prime, especially for being only a six percent milk stout. But uh, hopefully, it's still good. So you can see. Let's bring it up to the light here. It's pretty dark, um, not seeing a whole lot of light through it. It's got a nice, uh, about a finger of, a uh, nice light brown head on there, so let's get the aroma. Uh, roast is the thing I get first of all, that roasted coffee note. Get some like milk chocolate characteristics, you get that kind of lactose creaminess along with the, the chocolate they used in there. A little bit of some, some darker, just kind of generic fruits. Maybe a touch of like bready kind of caramel. That's mainly what I'm getting, so let's uh, give this a try. Cheers. First thing I notice, it's very smooth, creamy. That lactose really helps with that creaminess, and that's the first thing I notice. Uh, Six percent, easy drinking stuff. Falls the nose fairly well. A lot of like milk chocolate character. Definitely get the the lactose coming through in terms of adding that sort of creamy, milky character along with the chocolate they're using. I don't know how dark a chocolate. It is, but the the chocolate notes are definitely there. Maybe not as prominent as they were when the beer was fresh, but so far so good. So up front, I get this sort of weird combination of chocolate berry notes, and it's just sort of generic, sort of darker fruits. I'm not really getting any of that kind of fig, plum, raisin character so much. Maybe a touch of raisin, but more like... Um, not even quite a darker berry, but I'm sort of getting that sort of uh, fruitiness. It might be coming from the yeast strain, some of the uh, caramel malts. You get that up front. It's got maybe um, a slight, I mean, you don't see it, but it um, seems like uh, there's a decent amount of carbonation. And you can see it kind of swirled up the head there, right? Maybe a touch, just a touch are over carbonated for the style. So you get that kind of up front, and then it goes into big chocolate notes midway through. And the finish has a bit of that sort of bitter coffee, you know, roast character. Almost like a slight bit of smokiness. Not quite as smoky as some of the more roastier stouts are, but the, the roast character just kind of comes up towards the end and abruptly cuts off such that it doesn't kind of linger around too much. And then kind of lingering notes, you get a little bit of maybe like a faint dark chocolate lingering character, slight bit of like a, like a toffee note in there as well. So overall for Terrapins Muhu, I'm going to go with the B on this one. I think it's a, it's a solid beer. It's above average. Uh, not beyond that. It's not blowing me away or anything. Um, then again, it's probably past its prime, but appreciate Jonathan for sending it out to me because I been wanting to try more Terrapin beers, and I've never had this one before, so it's very cool to uh, check it out. And they have awesome labels on their beers. So uh, if you find this fresh next season, we're checking out, I think. I do like the Wake and Baker, WNB as they call it now, better than this one. But it's still great to try some stuff from Terrapin. So until next time, please comment and subscribe. Cheers.